Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build at 2620.751 for version 24H2. Well, in this build, we have a few new changes and a few fixes, and we're going to talk about those in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Paste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as always in the dev channel, we have some reliability fixes that are generally mentioned by Microsoft. I think that is good for those of you who are using the dev channel on their main or secondary computer. In this build, we have some news related to Copilot, basically the same things that we had on the Canary channel yesterday. And that is basically the fact that Microsoft is expanding or evolving the use of Copilot. I'm not sure if I would use this word evolving because basically we have this new Copilot app that can be resized, can be minimized, maximized, and so on, but it is web based. So I'm not sure if this is evolving or not, because at least right now if I were to type in something like turn on dark mode and then press enter you're gonna notice that copilot is not able to change any settings in my computer and even if I type things such as open file explorer which is a thing that we could have done in the past basically open apps in Windows copilot will answer with certainly to open file explorer in Windows 10 or Windows 11 you have a few options and they basically just give us info and they don't do anything related to Windows at least right now so it is completely web-based I think that is a a step backwards if you ask me and of course this is not right now pinned in the taskbar you can no longer use the Windows plus C keyboard shortcuts to open it because Microsoft is, is thinking about the new PCs that will have Copilot plus and we're gonna have a dedicated key on the keyboard to open it and one thing that is interesting is right now if you right click on the taskbar and then go to taskbar settings you will no longer find Copilot here because it is no longer a part of the system it's only an external app that is web based so you can go into start and as you can see in the recommended section we have Copilot recently added. We can right click on it and you can uninstall it really easily if you want. You can do that as well from the search box. Right click and uninstall if you don't want it on your system. I'm not really understanding the way that Microsoft is trying to do this. Maybe they're trying to make people buy their new PCs with Copilot. I'm not sure. Please let me know below in the comments what you think about this. But for me at least, I don't like the fact that they've completely removed the partially Windows based app and they've installed basically an app that is completely web based. As you can see, it's literally loading the web page whenever I'm opening up the app. Inside settings and accounts, you're going to find this new page, link devices, find, repair and manage devices that are signed in with your Microsoft account. You can register a new device and the devices that are already loaded up will be shown here. Basically, I have a few virtual machines and so on. Also, the files for recall, basically the latest AI function that Microsoft announced for Copilot Plus PCs has some files also in these new builds for the Canary and Dev channels. So basically, they are somewhere hidden in the system, but can be hardly enabled for a computer that doesn't have the minimum requirements for this function called recall. Inside phone link, we also have the new suggested replies option, which will basically allow you to have up to three relevant reply bubbles that you can choose from. I think that is a pretty interesting addition. And we also have a few fixes in this build, for example, related to widgets. Microsoft fixed the issue causing the Win plus W keyboard shortcut to not work correctly and open the widgets board. This update also addresses an issue that affects the installation of a Windows update. It fails to complete. This occurs when you have to restart your device more than once. And also this update addresses an issue that affects a device that uses an enablement package. It might stop you from installing a new Windows update. So basically, this is the latest dev channel build for the Windows Insider program. Hopefully, Microsoft will start implementing some new features related to Windows. For me, at least, I'm pretty tired of the new AI things. In my day-to-day -day use, at least until now, I didn't find any of the new AI things that useful. I don't use anything daily, just out of curiosity or something like that. Hopefully, Microsoft will start to implement more things that can make Windows more reliable for the normal users, not only for companies or people that are doing certain tasks with AI. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.